everyone. Today we're going to look at the Seymour Micro HMI Object Numeric Entry. And up on my screen here we have our, our previous example with our uh, buttons and indicators that we did last time. So we did two pages, one for buttons, one for indicators. Now what we want to do is look at Numeric Entry, which is our next on our object list, which is right here. So we have Numeric Entry and we have increment decrement value. So the first thing we'll do is add an extra page here. We'll go to our navigation and just add a new screen. This automatically comes up with the next one available, which is screen number five. We'll call this entry. And we'll hit okay. It automatically then puts it on our screen. And then what we do is we will add our background screen, which we uh, determined previously as screen number 100 which gives us our uh, sub menus our main menu next previous and our screen selector and just to make sure that we have page 5 on our screen selector we'll go to page 100 select our screen selector and we will go to screen and under the entry here we'll just add that to the next one. So when we hit screen selector, we can choose one of these screens to actually monitor. So we hit OK for that. So everything looks good so far. Let's go down to entry and we will then go to our object list, select numeric entry and under the parts list, we'll look at sample number three and we will drag that to our, our page. When we do, you will see that we have our uh, numeric entry window that appears and now we can enter our values that we want in this uh, screen. So our font, let's change the font to something a little bigger that we can see. We'll go down to 24, we'll hit OK. That looks a little, and there's a preview window, so it looks pretty good, we'll hit OK. Um, then what we'll use is under data display format, we'll, we'll leave it as unsigned decimal. We'll change this to uh, four digits and you can see what it's going to look like right here. Our prefix is what's going to appear before that number and we'll call this the register from the PLC which will be WY0 to the space equal space. So the spaces are important when you do the prefix or the suffix which is going to be at the end of the um, number and what we'll do is do space and then put units. So the suffix is for the units or, or what that number represents. It could be meters pressure, anything that you want. And the numeric entry is actually going to allow us to change those values um, as this is running within the PLC. So our object style, we'll actually have a pop-up menu. This is style number one. And then we have our tag and our, sorry, our range here. We'll turn the range on and we'll select the minimum value that we can have in this range is zero. Our maximum will be 4095. Then we'll look at our data entry tag and our data display tag and the last time we did it we had MHR8 where we left off for our registers. So let's call up our tag name database and what we'll do is just use the fill down which will do the next available tag in our series which will be the PLC address uh, 40,009 that down and that represents actually the tag name MHR9 which will change that to 9 we'll hit apply and again there's your memory type is 4 and the address is 9 and we'll close that off and that looks good it's an unsigned integer 16-bit uh, hit OK and that brings it back here for our tag display and we can use a a tag for a decimal point as well within the program so we can actually specify the tag where you have the number of decimal, decimal places if it changes in you, on you. Under the option tag you can see that we have the visibility that we can turn on and off and have a tag that will represent whether or not this is going to be displayed or not. So everything else looks good. We'll just hit OK and now on our screen we can resize this to see our display and that's what it's going to look like and then what we can do is position this on our screen 
and that looks pretty good right there. So we'll leave it right there. Now next we'll have is an increment decrement value. And what we'll do is bring the default from the parts list over. And once again, our increment de decrement value window appears. And what we'll do is uh, we could label it. Um, this, we can change the style again. Um, currently right now we look at the data format. And what we'll do is change this back to unsigned decimal. And the amount that we add and subtract as we hit the up arrow key and the down arrow key. In our case here, we're going to add just one for the adding and one for the subtracting. This could be any number that you want. Under the tag database, we're going to select uh, MHR9. And that's the same tag that we used previously on the numeric entry. Our range, again, we're going to do a minimum of, of zero. And then our maximum of 4,095. So that means that we cannot increase past 4,095 or decrease below zero. They all remain the same. So everything else looks good. Again, under the option, we have the visibility that we can turn on and off if we don't want this visible um, on this particular page. So we'll just hit OK. And now we can adjust the size of our increment decrement value object and we position that on the screen and everything looks good so that is uh, what we'll do here so we'll just save this project and now what we'll do is we will um, uh, simulate the project so this can compile it and we call them up with our simulator We'll go down here and we'll look at our entry screen, which looks like that. And we'll just try the buttons out, we'll increment, which looks like the value is changing like we wanted to. We can decrement, that looks good. Um, if we hit the actual unit, or the actual enter, we can actually enter a value. Let's try uh, 4,000, enter and we put 4,000. Now our top value was 4,095. So let's go, we'll clear that, 4,096, enter, and it comes up, entered value is above high limit. So we'll clear that, uh, let's put down 1,000. Right. And we do that. We also put down, we clear that, 4,095, which is our maximum, hit enter, and sure enough, that's what appears. We can try to increment that. We cannot increment, we can decrement, and it will decrement for us. If I hold the button, it'll actually go down faster or just go down by itself. And I actually hold the button up, it'll go up by itself. And it will go up until the heat reaches a high, higher limit that we've set. So that looks, the simulation looks good, the page looks good. So what we'll do now is we'll take a look at our actual unit and we have it up here on the screen you'll see that we are connected to our unit here um, via a, a ethernet and so let's what we'll do is transfer this program to the unit so we'll send project to panel yes we'll change save the changes again we'll do a compile and now what we'll do is uh, select our Ethernet and if we can't see it there we can always hit browse and actually see where the Ethernet is going to go to but that should work we can also select serial okay so Ethernet here we're gonna browse this and there it is right there you can also see that we can start blinking it if we wanted to, or blinking the screen to indicate that we've we've got communication. So we'll say OK. And then we'll hit our transfer. Transfer is complete. We'll hit OK on that one. So now our program is into our controller. And what I'm doing is I'm actually connected also to my do more simulator so here's my simulation 
and what I've done is I've created one more line of code in our existing project that will take our source code MHR9 and move it into WY0 where we said that on our display screen. And here is my simulator. We're currently in run mode here. And WY0 is right here. So on my screen, we'll go to it, we'll hit page select, put entry, enter. And this is the uh, one we just programmed. If we hit our units, we can enter a value. We'll enter the value uh, 2000, enter. And what you'll notice is that up on my um, simulator, we have the value 2000 that we've just entered. And if we actually look at my program, you can see my 2000 um, in MHR0 is being transferred to y, uh, uh, WY0 register. So the other uh, products that are other issues we have to do deal with is our up arrow key. We'll test it. It looks like it's working fine. And you can see the screen's updating our down arrow key. Let's try uh, entering a value of 4,000. Um, or we'll leave it that, hit enter. And again, the value uh, limit's too high. So we'll clear that. We'll try entering um, just zero. And what we'll do is try to go down past zero. And again, it does allow me. If I hit the up arrow key, it will allow me. And you can see that increasing in my, on my do more simulator. So numeric entry is, is very nice to use and very straightforward on the Seymour Micro. Now, all the links and documentation can be found on our website, accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free eBooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.